In today's video, we're checking in with world champion Showmaker on his signature pick, Katarina. Of course, Showmaker was a Katarina one trick before he started progressing and starting expanding his champion pool for pro play. And today, we're just going to check in on these new builds, new strategies, and of course, just watch Showmaker pop off in Korean Challenger. Just quickly, guys, I'm doing a $5,000 cash giveaway with some other creators. Not only do you win the cash, you also get to appear in a video that we're all going to be making with names such as Voiboy. I love that guy. We're going to be doing a nice little video. It's a worldwide giveaway. I'll put a link in the description down below. Of course, the more entries you have, guys, the better chance you have of winning the prize. Jumping onto the Rift now, taking a look at the rune page, guys. It's an electrocute setup. Look down bottom left. That is his runes. Um, it's pretty stock standard for Katarina. There's two Katarina rune pages. You have electrocute or you have Conqueror. Um, Showmaker rather goes that Electrocute, it gives you a little bit more um, early damage and 1v1 burst. Um, of course, Conqueror and more extended trades is going to give you more damage and more sustainability. But that Electrocute, obviously, it's going to allow him to look for level 2, level 3 solo kills on a champion like this, Silas. Doran Shield is the starter. Let's just watch how he plays his early laning phase on the Katarina. Q start. You're very weak, Katarina level 1. You're one of the weakest champions level 1. There's not many champions that do less than Cat at level 1. Short ranged. You only have a Q, really. Most champions will beat you out. So, it appears he's sitting back. He's relaxing. He's waiting for his power spike. I talk about this a lot. Play towards your own strengths. Every game. Know your champion's strengths and weaknesses and play towards them. He gets shoved in early. Now, he doesn't have flash. Look at the summoners, guys, for those that didn't notice. He has ignite and teleport. Katarina mains at the moment aren't running flash because teleport allows them a lot more gank pressure, a lot more side lane pressure. Um, if you stuff up in the early game, want to get an advantage in lane, the teleport helps out. And then you have the ignite for the solo kill. You have so many bloody dashes on Katarina. Do you really need the flash? Katarina main mains at the moment are saying, no, we don't need that. Um, and this is their setup. Lane's in a really good spot for Showmaker. Q, into the E, W lands, looking to land it again, Silas moves out. It's all about avoiding the daggers when versing these Katarinas. Um, just play around their cooldowns of their Q and W. If they have no daggers out, they're useless. That's all it is, guys. Play around those daggers if you want to try and beat a Katarina. But if you're playing Katarina, all about landing them. Poppy comes in, beautiful gank. Poppy jungle, actually very strong. Not many people... Take Poppy Jungle Cirrus, but it has, I would say, one of the best ganks in the game. Obviously because of the stoppage of dashes and stuff like that into things like the Silas and the Lucian. Champion's bloody perfect. Katarina at the moment. Look, she's in a bit of a weird spot because they took away Gunblade. You don't have Gunblade anymore, so you kind of, a lot of your options got taken away um, with that item. It works so well with Katarina. I've seen some Katarina's been going Blade of the Ruin King. They've been all teleport top lane. Here we go. This is why we run TP, boys. We arrive. Full health Lilia. I don't think we have... No, we dropped our Ignite on the kill. He's in. Looking for a double. Probably only gets that singular kill. Ugh. That is, it's okay. Silas gets a huge advantage in the mid lane XP. But we go one for one. Our first base is the uh, revolver. No, it's Sorks. Sorks and refillable. We want penetration. We want to be moving around the map. Remember, in our secondaries for runes, we have Relentless Hunter. When you're playing Katarina, guys, it's all about shoving, moving to the side lanes and diving. Um, Sorks and Relentless Hunter, of course. You have so much movement speed. There's no way Silas will ever be able to match your roams. And let's see what our boy Showmaker can do with this advantage. Silas is up XP though. I wouldn't say he has a 1v1 advantage. He just has this moving advantage. Look how, look how bloody quick he is. He's in. Two lands. Another dash. He moves in. Jukes out onto the Silas E. Good movements. Good movements. Poppy grabs one. Katarina grabs that next one. That triumph coming in clutch. And that's first move advantage. Showmaker was there first. He was ready to go. Gonna try and let this poppy move first. He's a little bit low. We'll try and let the poppy move in. Get the jam in. There we go. E. Grabs one. Dashes in this Yumi. 
Should drop as well. And we get a... Shrimaker died? Did he get onto the gin trap? <laughs> so unlucky. Revolver picked up now. No. Second time he's purchased it and resold it. Four, two and two. What are you going to get? We are. We're going to get ability power. So we're going AP Katarina this game. Why would you go AD? You don't... Like, your team needs AP. I guess... Maybe if your team is full AP, you can still do that Blade of the Rune King AD build on Cat at the moment. I bet you could. But we go for full burst. We have a Dark Seal as well. Expect this to start stacking up. When you're playing a Snowball Champion like Katarina, Fizz, um, what else do you... Like, any of these AP Assassins, guys, um, you Snowball. You take over the game. There's no better item than a Dark Seal looking for a Magi's upgrade to start completely dominating your opponent. You saw uh, Mango Fish as well. He does it. He does Magi's almost every game. Just makes sense. We're 20 CS behind the Silas. A little bit more now. But it's solo queue, guys. You don't have to vote. Like, I, I get people come into my Twitch chat when I play sometimes. And they're like, Haha, you're 50 CS at 10 minutes, noob. And I'm like, I've been rotating across the map. The game's already won. CS per minute is cool. As we get a dominating roam. CS per minute, really cool, guys. Really good. But don't get fixated on it. If you're not 10 CS per minute every game, don't beat yourself up. Because if you have the map pressure and you're roaming around the map, you could be 5 CS at 10 minutes. I don't care. The game may already be won. When you're playing things like the Pike mid, some players average 3 CS per minute and permanently roam. That style can work. So don't get too fixated on the CS. It's more about playing the map and getting the resources as you see them, as they see fit, as they come into you. But don't just sit mid going, oh, I need to get 9 CS per minute, because that's what the pros do. Solo Q is not pro play, guys. Not even bloody close. A showmaker looks for the all-in. Doesn't quite have enough deeps. Four stacks in the Dark Seal. We've got a Blasting Wand. Nice clean wave clear. Shoves that in. Now he instantly looks into the side lanes. Nothing is available. Lucian's off the map top. No one's bot, so we ping for the dragon. We move our way in. 10 kills to 5, but the gold lead's only 1,000, which is nothing. That Lucian CS lead is really carrying the gold for red side. Showmaker hope helps out with the dragon. We'll move back in. Now, Katarina, guys, if you want to play this champion... I recommend at least 10 normal games before you crack her out in your ranked games. The combos actually aren't that hard on Katarina. People think Katarina is a very mechanical champion. I actually think once you get like the idea of your combos down, it's not that difficult of a champ. You gotta try and get your auto resets and there's, there's, there's plenty of small things that go into it. But 5 to 10 games of Kat, I think you can start to pop off in your own solo queue games. As I don't think a re-engage here is really great. The Lilia, of course, waiting the flanks. Maokai, one of the best supports in the game at the moment. Making his way into the mid lane. Maokai with uh, Imperial Mandate. Great, great combo. One of the highest win rates at the moment. Mm -hmm -hmm. Poppy looking for something on the Silas. He's moving in. I don't think Shoemaker can get there on time. I'm interested to see what happens with Showmaker next year. He, uh... I mean... Hopefully he doesn't lose motivation now that he's world champ. I don't see him doing it. I think Showmaker's a guy that kind of wants to build his legacy. Kind of like Faker over like a multi-year successful run. Some players, once they win at the top, they kind of get demotivated, you know? You've won it all. Now what? But... Damwon's roster is looking very strong next year. I think they lost uh, Nuggery. Who are they getting top lane? Are they getting... Was it... Oh, who are they getting top? I don't think it was Khan, was it? They're definitely losing. I think the rest of the map staying somewhat similar, though. The roster. Be interesting to see what happens. Probably. Gonna be coming in as almost the favourites for LCK, I'd say. As long as they keep their mid, their mid jung, mid mid jung bot. 
Really good fit. Rotating now to the top side. Lucian, 1-0-1 with 10 CS per minute. But finally, we get that shut down onto the poppy. And we've got teleport available. We could TP bot. Just as I say that, we get that TP bot. Enemy bot lane's overextended. One kill for Showmaker. He pops in there with the ultimate. Second kill. Can we get a third? Ooh, exhaust comes out for Yumi. Ah, uh, this might not be good. The ignite's gonna drop him. We're eight, three, and two at the moment. He should have his mythic now. What are we gonna go? Knight Harvester. That's a great item. Gives upfront burst. Um, it gives movement speed as well, right? Gives movement speed as well. On activation, it'll help Katarina try and um, get some spacing onto the opponent opponents and chase them down a little bit. As Lucian picks up the gin, this guy's putting on a performance. Where do we move now? I was thinking maybe he runs bot lane, but thinking he wants to try and shove mid, I guess. Sweeper as well for the cat guys. I, I see a lot of players in lower elos, they sit on the same bloody trinket all game. Doesn't matter what champion they play, it's like they forget that the trinkets exists. Please guys, on your first or second base, start thinking, what do I need? Do I, ooh, coming in? Oh, this is gonna get outplayed here? Damn, this Aphilios is popping off, man. That was clean as hell. Who is this guy? Holy crap, well played, man. As we're getting a skirmish into the top sides. Lucian picks up his third. 3,000 gold lead for red side team. Showmaker with a 3,000 gold deficit, my god. Mainly these CS numbers. But as I was saying, guys, the trinkets, come on, if you're playing Assassin, get that sweeper early. In the around about 20 to 25 minutes, start thinking in your head, can the enemy team start sneaking objectives like Baron, Blue Trinket. If you're playing Xerath, playing Jin, Blue Trinket gets you long range vision. Very useful. Very useful. Some plays, man, I, I see the entire history, just yellow trinket, yellow trinket, yellow trinket, yellow trinket, and I go, man, you could be providing so much more for yourself and your team, just from a tiny little change. I love doing OPGG reviews where I look at those type of things, and I just see, I'm like, bro, if you fix this, you automatically level your, up your play from, like, silver to gold off, like, one or two small little things. It's very easy to improve um, your gameplay through that way. If you don't, like, that's not even, it's just improving your... Your uh, knowledge. It's not even improving like your actual mechanics or ma macro or stuff like that. As we're looking to get our second dragon of the game. Aether Wisp pulled out. I'm get that has to be for a Lich Bane. I don't think any other item really builds out of it anymore. There's no more Spellbinder and Cosmic Drive doesn't build from it. Q E I thought he put a W right in the middle of that wave there <gasps> We're gonna give that wave But we're gonna move in now Look for a flank behind The Lilia here Coming in Oh that poor little Can we jump over? We're looking for one more Poppy grabs a double kill Now we are on the hunt for the Aphilios Worth a 300 gold bounty Come on, give it a show, maker. Thank you very much for the 900 gold. And we'll run it back into the mid lane. I want to see Showmaker play Cat on stage. He actually said in an interview this year that he doesn't think Katarina is good enough to play on stage at the moment. There's too many flaws in the champion's kit to play in pro play. The champion really excels in solo queue because of how messy it is. God, this poppy ganks are so nice. Champions like the Katarina, man. Like, it just excels at cleaning up messy plays and plays like when a team doesn't really use their brain. They overstay. They have bad positioning. In pro play, it's too hard, man. Everyone just sits there and says, okay, wait for Katarina to dive in and then focus. 
it's so easy to counter the Katarina in pro play. But in solo queue, that's where you really are looking for these high kill games. Like Showmaker, we got 10 kills at the moment. He can't all in the Aphilios because of the Yumi exhaust. Shirelli is from the Maokai. Interesting. Yumi's gone for the, the Mandate. Actually got nerfed this patch. You can't do the Mandate mid laners anymore. And you cannot do the Muramana mid laners anymore. They nerfed both of them. Every time I make a video about something, insta nerfed. You guys, Fizz just got nerfed. Muramana Mage is nerfed. Mandate nerfed. Everything is getting nerfed. But to be fair, I only make videos on them because they're broken. As we see the Lich Bane picked up by Showmaker now. Bracken Muramana for the solution, eh? I'll have to try it out in the mid lane. Okay, guys. This might be a little bit difficult to fight. Drops his W in. And has his own control. He could pop back in on it. He takes it. Pops just one shots the Aphilios, man. What? And that is a double. It's going to be a triple for sure as we pick up an insane amount of gold. Dude, he just one shot that Aphilios. I guess that's the Night Harvest. He didn't even, did he auto attack? Jesus Christ, that was a lot of damage, man. That guy, he did not see that coming. Just completely turned it. 10 kill advantage now, but the gold is actually still deficit. This Katarina's starting to get st scary, man. 10 stacks in that Dark Seal. We got 13 kills now. Magi is most likely he's going to be the pick up. Perfect item for Cat. Movement speed. Jin picks up his mirror mana. You know what I'm pissed off about? They made that mirror mana only procs of physical abilities now. But now Corky doesn't, can't really go mirror mana, man. And then they didn't buff Corky. These bastards, right, games. What did Corky do wrong? I love that champion, man. Earthrider Corky is my favorite skin in the game. Love it. Looking for a one. Damn, he's fast. That Relentless Hunter, man. I've never seen a faster Katarina in my life. We got five stacks. Five stack Relentless Hunter with the Medjai speed. Everything stacking up. Shove these waves and look for team fights now. Remember, no flash, guys. You can literally just be hard CC'd down. You got to be very careful. He has a stopwatch in his inventory now. Might make team fighting a little bit safer. ER, the hourglasses to avoid the sleep damage. Silas coming in. Can he grab it? No, he can't. Here comes the. Oh my god, Jin is popping off. Jin, is that a quadra kill, my man's? Helios? Oh, Showmaker, careful. I don't think they get this drag. Literally just. Ah, uh, there we go. Is an ace. GB an ace. Now, Showmaker says, I do not care about the dragon. I'm going top lane to farm. I respect it. Probably, I mean, look, he's a world champion and I'm not, so I'm not gonna judge. But was this necessary? Could you not have held that TP for a flank in the upcoming fight? What do I know? I'm only a guy. Hard shoves that wave in. I guess they'll miss a lot of CS here. And he picks up the CS, maybe needed for another item. Fair enough. Fair enough, my brother. We've got 18 stacks in the Magi's. Do we have enough for Hourglass? Is that it? All that, and we get an Amp Tome. God damn it. Final build should be Hourglass into Void Staff, I will say. Or Death Cap, depending on if they start itemizing MR, which I think they should. They could easily start itemizing MR. They got good damage mix. Jin's actually starting to get a lot of damage now. I cannot get over this movement speed. What the hell is this? 488. Show me a 1v1, baby. Show it to me. Go for it. Come on, then. Too much damage in this guy's kit. 
Too much bloody damage in this guy's kit. So fast. And that, of course, 20 minutes. We're going to start going for the Nash Lucians in the bot side with the Yumi. And we finally have the gold lead on Showmaker's side. Solution putting up a bit of a battle, but... The showmaker looking for a flank. Can we find the Aphilios Q? Doesn't follow it. Gonna let Jin. Should be an E here, right? Look, he's just playing. Look how patiently he's playing. He's just making sure that he's in the clear to go for the all-in. A lot of less experienced Katarinas might just instantly E in. And then guess what? The whole team's sitting there. Showmaker just playing on the flank. He's biding his time here, isn't he? I like the way he's playing it. I would I would go in and face check like an idiot, I guarantee you. You got 22 stacks on his Magi's. His team's starting to get a team fight advantage. There's no need. Don't take the risk. Oh, oh, oh. We'll get a base in here. I'm guessing he has a shit ton of gold. Finally, we get an hourglass. We're almost full build now. Now this Hourglass, guys, it's pretty core for the Katarina mains because it's same with Fizz. It allows you to not only, like, uh, I guess, avoid getting focused down after you get your first combo, but also after you get that combo off, your cooldowns are usually back up. Just full combo, Hourglass, sit and wait, come out of stasis of the Hourglass, full combo again. Makes trying to focus the Katarina a nightmare for the enemy team. As he finally decides he's going to want to try and get this topside tower. Level 15 now. This poor Silas. 0, 6, and 3. Level 13. Not having too good of a game. As we're probably one ARAM away from a Nexus shove. Q. Ooh, here comes a huge Shen ult? Silas. Stole Shen ult, altered him? Must have, right? ER, Flash coming out from the Lilia. Sleeps the cat. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. He has his hourglass still. There we go. Just as I said. So core cool to be able to do that. Without that, he would definitely drop. I love, I love watching Showmaker's Katarina. Enemy team FFs the game. What a review. It's always a pleasure. 25 stacks on the Medjais. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the review. And until next time, I catch us all later. Peace.